Hi, I'm Raya. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching More Love with R&B. Yeah, and today we are having a discussion that started yes. in a group chat with some friends of ours. Yes, and in particular, a really special friend. We won't name names, but just a shout out to you. You know who you are. Yes, so a friend of ours is getting married, and mm -hmm. the discussion that rang out was... Should wives keep their last names when they get married? Hmm. That's an interesting question. So what we're going to do is we're going to just talk about four reasons why women actually choose to change their last name. And then we're going to talk about four reasons um, women choose to keep their last name. And we'll kind of talk about some in-between stuff. Yeah, so why don't you get started? Okay, so talking about the reasons why women actually change their last names. Yeah. Okay, first reason, and we did this the study, the research, we found out these are the top reasons. You'll let us know in the comments if you agree or not. The first reason is tradition. Okay. That's it, that's the way it's always been. That's what everybody, that's what my mom did. That's what my mom's mom did. That's what my mom's mom's mom did. So all the aunt, that's what people have done. So that's why, that's why I do it, tradition. Exactly. The second reason why most women choose to change their last names is commitment. Mm. I am going to solidify my bond with my new husband. Mm -hmm. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm changing my last name. Well, come on now, sister. <laughs> okay. And the third reason that women have chosen to change their last name is because they want to keep with the family unit. They say, well, that's your last name. I want to marry you. I want to have kids. I want them to all have the same. I want us to all just have the same last name. Let's just be one big family unit, family unit, and we all have the same last name. That's it. They just want to have the same last name as them, their husband, their kids, and just kind of keep it going. Exactly. Um, so the last point that we wanted to bring up as to why most women choose to change their last name is submission. Come on, somebody. Now, we, dun, did, dun, dun. we actually did a, a very short Bible study about submission. And so mm. if you want to watch that, I will plug it somewhere here. But I wanted to kind of read to you um, why this is so important. So um, Christians are called to submit to one another. And as a matter of fact, there is a scripture. I'm just going to break it down to you real quick. So Ephesians 5 verse 21 and 22 says, Submit to one another okay. out of reverence for Christ. But then verse 22 says, Wives, Submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so most wives change their last names to remind themselves to submit to their husbands as their husbands are called to love and give their lives for their wives. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, amen to that. <laughs> So those are four of the top reasons that some wives have chosen to change their last names to their husband's last name after yeah. marriage. And we have a few examples for you guys, just some celebrity fun that we noticed when we did the research. Okay. So the first one I remember specifically while we were watching the show Empire, okay. uh, Grace Byers. Okay. We'll put a picture of her somewhere up here. And Grace Byers was actually Grace Geely, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, when the show started. But she met Trey Byers, who was the oldest son in the Empire oh, okay. family. Um, and off screen, if you will, they fell in love and got married. And during the show, she changed her name legally. After she got married to Trey, she changed her name to Grace Byers. She was no longer Grace Geely. Nice. So, um, also more popularly known, potentially, um, we have Hailey Bieber, you kind of know where that's coming from. <laughs> and so it's like, okay, well you say to yourself, okay, well that's that's a really popular name, so my, why wouldn't she change her name? Because Hailey Bieber, who was a particularly famous model, used to be Hailey Baldwin. 
Oh. Yeah. She is the daughter of Stephen Baldwin, the famous actor. And you know the four Baldwin brothers. We all know. Yeah, Baldwin Alec Baldwin, is very Stephen Baldwin. Famous yeah. family. Just saying. So that was an interesting. She didn't hyphenate. She didn't keep the other life. She literally changed her name to Haley Bieber. Interesting. Didn't know that. So, um, and then the last example we have for you is the one and only Victoria Adams, who. I don't know much about Victoria Adams and the Spice Girls. I'm just, I mean, I don't, you know. But anyway, Victoria Adams was really popular when the Spice Girls came out in the early night or mid 90s. And she got married to Beckham. David Beckham. <laughs> Bend it like Beckham. That's a funny word. That's a Beckham. Anyway, she got married to David Beckham. She didn't hyphenate. She didn't do it. She just went right to Beckham. Victoria Beckham. Very good. So. So now we are going to switch gears a bit and we're going to talk about why women choose to keep their maiden names when they get married. Hmm, here we go. So one of the reasons why they, some women may choose to keep their last names is because they want to keep their identities. Yes. They love who they are, they love their names, and they want to keep that that identity. They don't want to change it. They just don't want to change it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Number two of the top four reasons why a woman would keep her maiden name was dislike for her husband's last name. <laughs> there were an overwhelming number of women who just said, hey man, you are an amazing dude. But you know, if this guy's name is Beetleheim or Blickenblucker, or pistachio, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and your last name is Fox <laughs> or Jones or something. Those are the women that kind of just said, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Um, so the third reason why a female may want to keep her maiden name when getting married is because of her, of her profession. Mm -hmm. So if you have joined a law firm and you're like Steidelman, Steidelman and Jones and now you get married, you may not want to change your last name. <laughs> <laughs> right? It can cause a lot of, you know, or if you're famous, you know, whatever the right. case may be, um, you may want to keep your last name because of your profession. And number four, of the top four reasons why women would choose to keep their maiden name, it's inconvenient. <laughs> yes, it is. And I mean, listen, I have seen the process. It's mad inconvenient. You have to change your driver's license, your passports, your credit cards, bank statements, uh, bills, utilities, rent, mortgage, that whole thing, that whole thing, um, voter registration card, your social media profiles, your email addresses, like that's just half of the list. Like there's a lot of other stuff that you would have to change if you decided to change your name. And some people just say, And some of that costs money to do. And it, it's a lot of money to change some of that stuff. Now social media is free, but <laughs> I'm just saying all that other stuff does cost you money and time. And some people think it's just too inconvenient. Yeah, and there have been some famous people who have chosen to not go that route and just keep their last names. Yeah, so like Viola Davis, just always been Viola Davis. She's been married to Julius Tenen for many, many years. Yes. <laughs> but still goes by, by Viola Davis. Yes. And then one more person who chose to just keep their maiden name was Chrissy Teigen. Yeah. Who has been married to John Legend, whose real name is John Rogers, <laughs> has been married to him for so many years and she just said, she actually had a quote saying, my husband didn't even keep his last name. <laughs> so she did not take his last name. <laughs> so we have a few examples of people who said, hey, I'm going to do both. So you've got Priyanka Chopra, Jonas, married to Nick Jonas. Oh, okay. And then we have the infamous Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. So... So whether you are on the fence about what you should do if you are engaged or whether you are married and you have a particular stance on what you should do, mm -hmm. our recommendation, um, of course, we're going to say do what works for you. For sure. But what works for you is 
make sure you both are in agreement. If you are a mm. wife, don't just choose what works for you if it doesn't work for your spouse. I think that requires, <laughs> um, what's that word? Communication. Exactly. <laughs> you have to communicate. So I think the last thing we'll say is do not wait until the question gets popped. Do not wait till you get to the altar. Do not wait till after the honeymoon to have this conversation. No. If you're dating somebody and it's looking like it's getting serious and you have strong views, now is the time to have the conversation. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we guys hope that you enjoyed this video. Yes, please share it with someone that you know who is engaged, who might need to have this conversation. <laughs> And then give it a thumbs up. Yay! And make sure you subscribe. Leave in the comment if you have some additional information you want to add. add. Wow, where'd that? What? <laughs> it's like, what was that? If you have any additional information you want to add, put it in the comments. If there's any more reasons, if there were reasons that you said, yes, I rock with that, but I didn't follow it for whatever reason, then let us know in the comments. Just share your stories. Absolutely, and let us know if there are any more videos that you would like to see us do. Add yes. those in the comment section below as well. Yes, and guys, do not forget to subscribe. Please subscribe, it's gonna go right here. And we <laughs> wanna thank you for watching today. We hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Do what works for you, okay? <laughs> Bye guys. See ya.